Step out of the vehicle, driver. Driver, step out of the vehicle. What's that for? Can I get uh, Code 5 back? YouTube, JWR911, and we are back out in Blaine County again today. Another LSPDFR video, and we are still out here uh, running our drug suppression. Uh, we switched out our vehicle. Tahoe needed some maintenance, so uh, we're in our trusty Vic today. So uh, we're not gonna lollygag around. Let's go ahead and uh, go 10 8 and 10 6, and we'll see what we can get into. One ten four. Show me ten eight, ten six for traffic. Ten four. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys are uh, having a good weekend. What in the world? I know we're running traffic, but. It always amazes me that we have these women that are out here working, uh, working the streets and they are just making it so super obvious. So we're going to kick out with this female here and see what she's up to. And sad to say that a lot of our uh, females that are in this situation up uh, having narcotics on them, so. Once I'm four, I'm going to be out with a female Alhambra at an island. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Hold on a sec! My name's Sergeant JWR. I'm with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Well, the reason I'm stopping out with you here tonight is it kind of looks to me like you might be out here working. So I just need to talk to you for a second, okay? So how you doing tonight? Uh, you've on probation? Okay. Well, this happens to be a high traffic area for prostitution. Do you have any ID on you? Are you working for anybody right now? Go ahead and give me your ID. Let's see some ID, huh? Thank you. All right, Rose, uh, stand by for me, okay? cited before for loitering, which is probably what she's going to get cited for tonight, because we don't really have anything else on her. Uh, she's never been arrested. Uh, she's definitely out here working, though. Alright, well. Let's see if she'll uh, submit to a pot down real quick, make sure she doesn't have anything on her. Rose, uh, do you have anything illegal on you? All 
Alright. Do me a favor. I, I do need to patch it down real quick, okay? Why do you have a Polito Bay police badge on you? Right, go ahead and turn around for me. You are going down! Alright, we're gonna walk back here. You know it's illegal to impersonate a cop? You can't have a police badge on you like that. Alright, I'm gonna have you have a seat. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull off up here and get out of traffic. One sim for I'm gonna have one female, ten fifteen. No code for. Alright, Rose. Here's the deal. You're gonna be getting a citation for loitering. And you're also going to be being placed under arrest for Impersonating a police officer. But I am not sure. Oh, yep, there it is. Alright. Alright, so you're going to begin the citation for the loitering. You're also getting the. You're, you're under arrest for the impersonation because you have that badge. You're not allowed to have that, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, transport out here and get you taken in. One cent for Can I get a transport for one female? Alright, let me uh, give her her citations here. Give you a copy of your uh, your paperwork here, okay? Assistance required in Sandy Shores. I will just uh, stand by here until we get a transport out here for. Her. Stolen. And he rolled through the stop sign. One cent for felony traffic. 
Eastbound Joshua, 84 King Henry Victor 244. Target vehicle license plate, 84 King Henry Victor 244. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Driver, step out of the vehicle and face away from me. Step out of the vehicle, driver. Driver, step out of the vehicle. 174, can I get uh, code 5 back up? I accidentally dropped a flare, guys. Burning nice and bright down at my feet. Alright, well, backup's not really cooperating with me, so. Show me your hands. You're mine now. What's up for? I got one in custody. Back here. Stay here, don't move. Dispatch, Ocean One here. We can take that if no one else wants it. We've reached the end of the line. Car's clear. Alright, man. Hey, you're good. Get out of here. Alright, you got anything on you I need to know about? Any guns, knives, needles, anything like that? We got you surrounded! Alright, well you got a weapon on you. You got two of them, actually. Alright, you're gonna have a seat. Holly. Search the car real quick. Another weapon. A fake Ellis Los Santos Sheriff's Office badge. Good lord. Alright. We are right here, so let's get out of traffic. I know this is not really good protocol, but... traffic back up here so we're not getting too congested.
All right, Holly, let's see what you got on your record. All right, so you're valid. You've been arrested before. No, you've been cited before. You haven't been arrested before. And this is a possible stolen vehicle. It's got no owner. So we're going to go ahead and treat this as stolen. Come back here real quick. Go ahead and uh, up. All right, Holly. I'm gonna run a check on this weapon that you had on you. Am I gonna? What am I gonna find? Well, serial number scratched. I can't even check it. So that's lovely. All right. Well, you're gonna have a seat back in here again. Just hang out. I have a couple questions for you. So whose car is this? Do you own it? Did the owner give you permission to use the vehicle? Why are there cuts on your hands? Okay. Do you know the owner's first name? And how do you know him? Okay. Did he give you permission? Having a seat again. All right. One seven four. I'm going to be next available tow for eight four King Henry Victor two four four. Required in grapeseed. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get your charges done up here. So you're going to be under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. going to be arrested for being in possession of a deadly weapon, possession of stolen property, possession of a stolen vehicle. Alright, we'll get uh, one seven four. can I get a transport out to my location for one female? Assistance required in grapeseed. All right, Holly. Well, you are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present during any and all questioning. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand your rights? All right. This deputy is going to go ahead and uh, transport you to county. And 
just like that. Another hit. An expired license. So let's go ahead and uh, get turned off here. Once M4, we're gonna be clear up the last standby for additional traffic. Yo, One M4 traffic. I mean northbound CV Road, just off of Joshua. Gonna be with zero four Ocean Ocean King six two two. Target vehicle license plate zero four Ocean Ocean King six two two. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. All right. Popped up on ALPR with an expired license, so we'll just run up here and check real quick and see what's going on. Hey, good evening, sir. My name is Deputy JWR. I'm with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, the reason I'm stopping you today is uh, I'm showing that your license is expired. Do you know it's expired? Okay. All right. Well, do you have uh, your license registration proof of insurance on you? Let's see some ID, huh? All right, Thanks. Mr. Crawley, is all this information up to date? Okay, do me a favor, just uh, sit tight for me, okay? First of all, yeah, it's coming back to him. Holy cow, though, man, that's expired almost over a year. What's well, going to cut him some slack with the whole uh, COVID-19? But I don't think we're going to be able to cut him some slack. And I don't think he's going to be able to drive out of here today. Expired license greater than 30 days. That is insane. Alright. Well, let's go break the bad news to him. Alright, Mr. Crawley, uh, do me a favor. Can you go ahead and step out for me? Wait a sec, buddy. Just go ahead and uh, follow me over to the side of the road here. Alright, so uh, let me explain to you what's going on. Um, you have uh, an expired license, and your license is actually expired almost a year. You got 313 days, it's been expired. If it had been, you know, something like, you know, three, four months, you know, I might be able to give you, you know, an exception for that, you know, given what's been going on this year, but uh, 313 days, I, I just, I can't ignore that, okay? So you're going to be receiving a citation today for driving on an expired license greater than 30 days. You're going to have a court date you have to go to and all that. Um, I'll give you a copy of that here in just a moment, but I do have to let you know that you're not going to be able to drive the vehicle out of here today. So it is going to get towed. Okay? Do you have any questions on that? All right. I'm going to give you a copy of your, uh, your citation here. And 
uh, do you need me to call you a taxi? Or an Uber? Uh, we'll get a taxi out here for you. 174, can you contact the uh, taxi out in Grape Seat? See if we can get transport for one mail. Alright, I got a taxi coming for you. Just uh, go ahead and uh, sit tight for me. And uh, once the taxi gets here, uh, you know, they'll get you out of here. I wrote down the uh, tow company that's going to have your vehicle. It's going to be uh, Plain County Towing. So their contact information will be on the back of the citation for you, okay? And I do believe your taxi is here. Alright, try to have a better night and uh, be safe, sir. Uh, caught in traffic. Trying to get up here. Eh, we'll go ahead and uh, open the road back up. Get him out here a little quicker. Alright, she be all set, sir. Alright, enjoy your evening. Oh, cut that close there. Alright, well, you know what? Um, I will admit that I made a bit of a mistake there, guys. I've got him on the way out, and I did not even search the car. I have to do an inventory. Alright, he's got a, a gun with a scratched out serial number. So, that is my bad. But, we'll go ahead and have to issue probably an arrest warrant for him. One cent for it. Can I get the next available tow from my location? Flatbed. Assistance required. In grapeseed. We're just going to stand by, guys, for the tow truck to get out here, and we'll head back to the station. I'll have to try to see if uh, I can make contact with Mr. Crowley again. Um, let him know about the weapon that we found. I really should not have cut him loose like I did before searching the vehicle. So Can't always be perfect, though. But once we get back to the station, we'll get some paperwork taken care of, and... Uh, be uh, probably calling it a night. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this patrol, and I will see you guys out here next time. If you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like button, and drop a comment down below uh, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. And if you're new to the channel, as always, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content. Got LSPDFR, 5M, Silver Lining Roleplay, 911 First Responders, and a slew of other games uh, and content coming out. So um, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Uh, until next time, guys, make sure you watch each other's backs, and I'll see you out here.